Hello there. No, like I said, woo.
Hey everyone. Hello, exactly. Exactly. How you guys doing? Welcome back. We all ready for some zomboy today? Dub? No, like I said, woo for Pete on my rug. Oh, oh, sorry, I misunderstood. <laughs> I didn't realize it was it was woo. Core D80, how's it going? J Man, welcome back. Good seeing you. Uh, Bez, how's it going? Lily? Sir Bubblebutt? How's it going, sir? Alright. We're going to continue exploring the Tandil map. Juan's amazing map. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I'm in. How's it going, Alter? Good seeing you. Okay. Who wants to uh, pick our first character? We're getting right into it. More importantly, I watched the VOD of my death. Uh, where is the filthy bastard who said to throw me in the river? <laughs> hey, I didn't listen to him. <laughs> I didn't listen to him. Uh, the bull, where can we get the Tandel map? Tandel map is not out on the workshop yet. Uh, Juan, who is one of our community members, uh, it's his map that he's been working on for the last few years. He's Last I heard, he's still working on a few tweaks. And then he'll be uploading it to the workshop. So You can uh, stay tuned to the Discord. I'm sure he'll post an announcement on there when it's ready to go live. Now Glee69, yes, we will be taking a look here momentarily at the Tandil map. What is it about? Uh, so it's a new map that uh, one of our community members, Juan, uh, has been working on for the last few years. And it's, uh, what do you say, 25 cell map. It is south of Martridge, or will be south of Martridge. And uh, it's, it's quite a large map. Um, we took a look at it on Friday, our first look. Um, there's some uh, some interesting, cool Nomus Plays community-related Easter eggs around the map. Uh, we'll probably swing by a few of those locations again today. But I want to try like a more, somewhat of a more serious playthrough today. We'll see. We'll see what you guys allow. Uh, what are we going to do here for our build, though? When all else fails, we go Nimble Repairman. Alright, Deb. Why? <laughs> I, I see it. Why? Why? <laughs> the luck on this one. No kidding. Out of all the letters. Alright. Uh, what is our name? Why? Why? What is this why why? Yanny Yannison. Was there any other choice? Okay. Jump in here. So we've got a scaled back uh, version of our chat integration uh, today for the viewers on Twitch. Um, we will have a, there's a new channel point reward. You should be able to see in the list for a random zombie, random number zombie spawn. It'll spawn anywhere between one and 10 zombies based off of our Z outfit pool. Uh, so I will work via the, uh, the channel point reward as well as, uh, what the usual 10 zombie spawn, um, bit cheer the 100 bit cheer um what else we've got we still got the weapons and general supply uh sends via the channel point reward and bit cheers uh random helicopter bit cheer is still there uh we've still got the the chat radio if we can find a radio And we've still got the dog tags and the vending machine stuff going. Look at this, we spawned somewhere other than the hotel. 
Isn't that nice? How did you spawn in with a lead pipe in your shoe? <laughs> How did this happen? How did I miss this when I put my shoes on? Here's the lurk bubble butt. So we got. Okay, so this is an apartment building, not a house. Uh, maybe we'll take a pen. Hope we can find some weapons, and we have. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal! Well, it wasn't lead pipe, but. We'll take the ammo in our shoe. That's where I keep my ammo all the time. Safest place. Appreciate that, J-Man. Ah, the meat cleaver, the preferred weapon of the Giga Chad. Doors stand no chance against the meat cleaver. And we have a uh, plunger to boot, so. I'd say we're in pretty good shape here. Sick Frector. Yeah, <laughs> the Sigma male sound clip. Uh, all right, more ammo there. Yeah, somehow it makes the apocalypse seem like it'll all be okay. Let's check a few more. Let's see if we can find like a bag. That would be nice. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a burger. All right, J-Man. Burger and bullets. Can't go wrong. Another gun. Uh, whenever you do anything, keep those two images in mind. Giga Chat and Pepe toasting you. You'll make it through okay. So we got our lunch. We got um, some bullets if we uh, end up deciding to shoot some guns later. And the first outfit pull is up. Oh shit, that was fast. <laughs> Let's... I was testing stuff. I was testing stuff before and I <laughs> forgot to change the timer. We can't do nothing. Well, that was a fast one. Yeah, let's uh let's reset that one. But hey, we got a spiffle mascot, so for a fast one, I'll take a spiffle mascot zombie. Six spiffo zombies. Okay. Uh, you may want to vacate this premise. Maybe I should have just ran through the hallway. Alright, one down. <laughs> Back up! An invasion of Steffos. Uh, playing with costumes. So we're playing with um, one of the mods we've got. We can choose the outfits of the zombies that spawn in. So these are all vanilla outfits. Okay. Probably would be advisable to grab a Spiffo hat. There we go. Alright, J-Man. 
our first six down. Uh, fix the voting. It should be fixed. Still not sure if um, if the YouTube side. We'll see once some YouTube folks start voting. All right, Jay, man, I appreciate that. <laughs> Back to saving some points. You got us off to a good start. You got us the burger, the ammo, and a spiffo hat. Can't complain. Um, how do you get down to the main floor? Oh, we are on the main floor. Uh, does the Spiffle hat have good protection? It has horrible protection. <laughs> zero percent. <laughs> it's got zero protection. You'd think it would have some protection. Uh, let's grab that. Yeah, you think it'd have a little bit, hey? I would assume it'd be hard for them to bite through. <laughs> it just protects others from the horrified look on his face. <laughs> Don't look at my face. Well, it doesn't seem like we're going to get a bag. A lot of buckets, though. Let's rip this up. Are we getting NPCs this year, I wonder? I don't think we're going to get NPC characters this year. We'll, uh, we'll most likely see the animals this year, but I wouldn't be surprised if the NPC characters are still further out. I may be wrong, but... Check another apartment, maybe, or go to this building. A little zombie for some spare rip bandages. You're gonna need them. Well, you don't think our six <laughs> we're gonna have more than six injuries here right away. Given past Hello performance, there. I wouldn't be surprised. Hey, Fable. Oh, there's a school bag. How are you feeling today? Ha! You missed. Uh, if I could play the Cray map, it was well done. Yes, I have. The, um... Oh, what's the name of it now? What's the name of that map? The name escapes me right now. Gang Boo, I think? Oh, maybe I haven't played that one. Which Korean map did we play? another one all right, let's drop all the stuff and the lead pipe that's what you were talking about hey dub I didn't even notice that I thought you were just making an off-the-cuff comment Uh, 
Uh, we don't have sprinters on for this first attempt. We can turn them on later, though. Oh, Daegu, that's it. You were close with Gangbu. <laughs> it had the ooh at the end. Yes, Daegu, yes. Uh, there was a text above your head when you spawned in. Hmm. Oh, that may have been... Um, I know what that was. I was testing something before uh, I jumped into the game. I guess it... Uh, that's interesting. It carried carried over until we actually spawned in. Didn't realize that. Crowbar. Doing alright, uh, Fable. Got a weird headache right now, though. Uh oh. Can I get some ibuprofen real quick? Alright, sounds good, man. Uh, Brain tried to hard, but it wasn't enough. Anyone seen Severance? That's good. I have not seen Severance. Yes, the, the weapon of choice for the nimble repair, man, exactly. That's what this build is for. Hey, JJ. Welcome back. We were actually talking about Daegu the, um, on Friday, I believe it was. Seek Frector. Well, I agree. It's um, it's a cool map. It's a bit repetitive. We were saying. What are your thoughts? Hey, Miriaku, how's it going? Probably just passing by though. You will definitely have fun. Good to see you. Yeah, was it JJ? Was it you that was we were talking about uh, Daegu? survive long enough for it to seem repetitive. I was impressed by the new assets, though. Yeah, tons of new uh, tiles and artwork. Which, yeah, that part is very cool. Oh, more uh, meat cleavers. Put the uh, knives on our vest. Make cleavers on our belt. Voting definitely seems fixed on the Twitch side, though we've seen this work when YouTube interaction is broken. Yeah, like right now, Touch Portal says that it's connected to the YouTube chat, but I don't find that that's very reliable. Let's see. No, it's not bringing it up. It's apparently not connected. So that's why the voting is working as intended. Uh, there, will there be an episode of Cryo no, tonight as well? For Pete on my ride. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, not tonight, Mary Akio. I've been... I didn't get around to recording today. I've been working on a, a side project for the channel slash stream. Uh, which took a little bit more time than I anticipated today. Or I kind of just got caught up in it, I should probably say. So there'll be a new episode tomorrow. Alright, we have 
to that one. Uh, Fable, the dual CPU fan I have keeps turning off one fan at a time, and it's random for which one turns off. Uh, that's odd. So is your CPU overheating as a result? Appreciate me, Aku. You have a good day. If you're not sticking around, it's good seeing ya. Uh, speaking of which, JJ, now that you're going on your road trip, don't forget to keep an eye out for diners. Oh, for the uh, the checkered floor. I assume, hey. Right, I think we're good for food there for a little while. Yeah, that's a good call, JJ. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think we'll see a diner on the road we're taking to West Point. Uh, I guess it would be the south end of West Point, right? Southeast side of West Point would be the diner. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on the guns for now. Let's see, corrector. If we were a, a gun build, we'd grab it maybe, but. Fable starts up fine and both are spinning. So when I gain, the temperature goes into the 80s, which isn't particularly high, but my OS crashes while playing certain games. Oh, so it's more than just the uh, software dev. Let's see if I can find a better backpack. But if not, we've got a pretty good start here. Kitchen knife. Uh, what's longest we've made it? Um, on stream, I think our longest has only been um, maybe a couple months early on before we started doing chat integration. With chat integration, I think our longest was was it maybe a couple weeks? Outside of Uh, outside of streaming. Uh, longest character prior to build 41 was around three years. In 41. Um, I think. Well, we've had a couple go to a year. I remember if we've had one go beyond a year in build 41. Yeah, three years though, that was that was prior to the animation update. So it was a whole different uh, set of strategies and game mechanics for combat back then. You could get away with 
just carrying a knife around. Go through uh, throngs of zombies. Uh, Fable, like right now, the right fan is spinning, the left one is just sitting there looking pretty. Just saving itself, eh? Uh, once you get a couple years into the game, I find it starts getting boring for me. Same thing every day. Yeah, like on our, on that three-ish year playthrough, that was before Cars. So, I mean, there was a lot of time walking between the different towns. And that Gerald Richardson, I guess that was Build 41. And that was a couple years, or just shy of a couple years. And we had been everywhere. That was before Louisville, though, as well. So we had pretty much been to everywhere on the map in those two years. And set up bases in all the towns. I guess if he added more, um, he had more map locations added. I guess you could keep yourself busy that way. But yeah, you gotta be content with doing, I guess, the same types of things, but in new places. So I find in those long playthroughs, it's almost like you're starting, like every time you pick up and move to a new location, you can just choose to not bring quite as much stuff with you, and then it's almost like you're starting a new game, but with a, a solid character. It's only one kind of death in this game that pisses me off every time. Death by stupid fire. <laughs> yeah, one of my more frustrating deaths was on stream when we we burnt. We got burnt. Medical services providing the prescription medication since 1970s. Got a headache? We provide. Feeling a little blue? We provide. Cortman Medical, where we provide for you. Or you. Uh, we got burnt by a, um, a smoldering tile. It wasn't even on fire, it was just smoking. It was enough to slow us down so the horde could catch up to us. Looks like I have bags here. It's a cool store. Lantern. Oh, apron, not a lantern. Remember one of the multiplayer runs in Louisville when that house burned down near the river and everyone was hurling around trying to put it out? That was damn funny. <laughs> yeah, I think that was uh, that was Sage's house. Was it Sage's house? Maybe Sage was the first one to come over to try and help. And he ended up dying. So he vowed that was the last time he'd ever help someone put out a fire. <laughs> Are these? That's a... That's a lot of purple light. That is a bright sign over here, if that's what's giving off the light. Is this a gentleman's club? Vampire Lust. I, I think we're in the red light district. <laughs> we didn't see this on Friday.
<laughs> yeah, but it sucks in there. <laughs> but I'm nice. Oh, Arcturus. Alright, well, I guess we gotta check this out. Research purposes and all. It's another excuse from War Stripper Zombies. <laughs> Go to a shop, get some cash. <laughs> Slender set up a base with the strippers. <laughs> it is filled with strippers. Uh, do I ever play CDDA? Uh, the game or the, the game mode in PC? I've played the game mode challenge on a number of occasions. I haven't actually played the standalone though. Yeah. I've well I shouldn't say I haven't played it. I've I have it. I just haven't ever really gotten into it. Not in here, after that. I believe we'll get kicked out. Oh, there's quite a few in here. Ha! You missed. CDDA is stellar. The depth is crazy, but it's not like old Dwarf Fortress levels of autism. So I actually tried playing CDDA and the old Dwarf Fortress around the same time. Uh, but I wasn't... I didn't have the patience for either of them at the time. Since the Dwarf Fortress Steam update came out, um... We played that for a while, so maybe I should attempt to take a uh, another look at CDDA again. Busy place. All right, so let's just rest up a bit. Biggest hurdle with CDDA is learning the keyboard bindings. That I wouldn't say you need a big brain to play it at all. I'll have to take another dive into it. Time to do some sketchy shit. Do da, do da. Hope I get away with it. Oh, da, do da, day. Hey, Skelly. How you doing? Right, we're gonna finish exploring in the nightclub and then we'll move on. Home from work, right on. How was work today? 
What's the club call? It is called the Vampire's Vampire's Lust. Or the Vampire's Bust. <laughs> that as well. That would work as well. Yeah, no touching. You have to be invited into the club. Steal the suit. So many to choose from. Alright, we got the suit. Look at this gentleman right here. He has a white suit. <laughs> yeah, Big Daddy Pimp in there. Oh, you were talking about the, <laughs> the suit, not the buddy suit? Alright, let's take that. <laughs> it's Michael Jackson. Kinda was, wasn't it? Designer shoes. Alright, I think we need to wear this. Alright, we're gonna drop this then. It won't be white for very long, but... Okay, we're good. We're good. Hey, Juan. Welcome back. We're back in Tandil. Imagine it gives you an ability to moonwalk away from things. <laughs> yeah. You could almost speed walk. <laughs> Good evening. Evening, Mike. How's it going? Alright, so these do sound like windows. None of them are broken yet. How are you liking the strippers? Oh, we're having a good little tour here. No deaths yet, Mike. We're on our rain back integration settings, so we've just got the random zombie spawn. So anywhere between one and ten zombies will spawn. With the uh, the two thousand bit uh, or two thousand point redeem or the hundred bit cheer. And we've got the supplies sends, the weapon sends, random helicopter, but not our our full menu of integration stuff. Preposterous. I'm hoping to see more of the map today. I give you an updated version. I had a ton of spawn points, car spawns, and I fixed all zones. Uh, for sure. Um, do you want to send over Google Drive again? Maybe we can play the updated one after our lunch break. Like I got the change rooms back here too. Did you know Phil Leotardo uh, did 20 years in the can? <laughs> A lot of people. I heard. I heard. 
Yeah, or when you inevitably die. Yes, it's only a matter of time. Uh, yes, Zick, this is uh, the uh, Tandil map. This is Juan's Tandil map. All right, cool. Let's check out somewhere else. So is this, we were talking, um, Juan, is this the red light district? We noticed that there's like <laughs> red lights everywhere. Oh, set the Japanese windows feet indestructible for now. Nice, keeps the uh, look intact for the, the club. Oh yes, we're hungry. Time to eat the J-Man specialty. The J-Man burger. It's the hot zone, okay. Very, very hot. <laughs> yeah, solid question, Skilly. How much research was done for this map? Solid question. Uh, none of the player movement commands are active today, Aftermath. We'll be back on Friday, though. Is this big building? Let's put to the chair. They spawn right on top of us. Couple firemen. We're conspicuously missing their their shirts. Yeah, let's put those a little bit further away from us. Have to look a little bit for them. Oh, you also added a lootable map. Very cool. Yeah, sorry, Skelly. None of the um, player movement interactions are on for this one. Yeah, no controls today. Interaction light today, exactly. It's a metal worker and electrician's dream in there. Like office complex. No, like I said, woo, but peed on my rug. Oh. I understand, Lebowski. Alright, cool. Duffel bag. Ha! You missed. Bonus chips. Ha! 
<laughs> Scully, giving the uh, the tried and true indie stone response. It'll be out when it's ready. Oh, there's the railroad tracks. Hold on. Juan had made mention of a train station on Friday. We didn't get to see that. Station's huge. Ha, you missed. I right, definitely need to go check that out. Scully, you know, back around 2013, I played a lot of DayZ, so I was on the forums a lot. I used the suggestions for them. People would always be like, yeah, but they gotta do X first, so they don't suggest that. Well, what the heck is the point of the forum then? They'd always say, the when it's done thing, including the devs. Yeah, it can be kind of kind of frustrating when that's the only response you get. Uh, nice thing about the Indie Stone, even though they they will use that from time to time, they do uh, provide regular updates on where they're at with things. So while they don't actually give time frames all the time for stuff, at least you can see what they've been working on. And they've always been very consistent with, with uh, their bi-weekly blogs, which is nice. I think it's a good to let people know what you're doing at the moment in a project. Yeah. And I think that's, yeah, something that any stone does really well. Yeah, that zombie had no arm. Yeah, it's from the uh, authentic Z. Oh, I think the uh, train station might be right up here. Or at least a train stop. Rest. Hey, Rotana. Uh, we've we've been dealt a uh, an amputee start a few times. Via chat. I've never lasted very long though. Have you attempted one before? With any luck? What 
What if you're missing a leg? I guess you'd, uh, that'd be a tough one. <laughs> you should just be crawling around or to get some crutches. I don't think I'd want to be in the zombie apocalypse missing a leg. Missing an arm may be doable, but... Okay, this is the station. Yeah, that looks pretty big. Wait a little longer. Oh my god! <laughs> no. I didn't see it when I was scooting around. I thought we were good. <laughs> He's already dead. Uh, that teaches me for not uh, constantly spinning around. Classic. Knocked off my damn hat. Yeah, we got scratched. Pro gamer, copper scent. <laughs> Pro gamer. <laughs> I spun around for a little bit, I didn't see anyone. I paid the price. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. It's always got to be the, uh, the right hand, too, yeah. Babel, appreciate the spiffo tail. Let's get that equipped. There, the, the suit is now complete. Get inside. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And another watch for our other hand. Bottle wine to numb the pain. <laughs> Watches on both hands. The time is at hand. Guess we gotta go up. Rage, appreciate the uh, hydrate. Welcome. Welcome on in. Hello there. Hello, hello. How's it going, man? Oh, look at this floor. Hey, Abraxas. All right. Got the full 10. Appreciate the cheer, Bez. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Shoe plonkies. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. I can't see. Alright. Abort. Abort. Oh, one of them jumped over there and zoomed though. It's like that. Oh, 
I'm not sure if there's anything that can be done about that. Um, Juan. Uh, Fable, did it spawn my gift? Let's see. I think I saw something pop up. We got the Plonkies, right? Yeah, yeah, it was the Plonkies. We got the Shoe Plonkies. Yeah, I don't think there's anything on your end uh, for those uh, roof cutaways. Appreciate the Plonkies, Fable. All right, Skelly, gotta go. Have a good one. You as well. Appreciate you hanging out with us for a little while. Good yeah. evening. Let's make sure we grab all these die tags. That's right. Hey, Azul. Good evening. Welcome on in. Got to wash up our suit here. This is Juan's map. Yes, it is indeed. The monster map of Tandil. Rex is so good to hear that you're having a great day today. Glad you're here as well. What's what's been making today a great day? Can tell by the high quality, yes indeed. And no joke, this is a uh, high quality man. Some really cool locations. We didn't get to see the train station on Friday, so I'm excited to check this out. Um, we're getting a little tired, so let's switch out to maybe a hunting knife. There's quite a few in there. Brexit's got a lot accomplished at work, and now I have y'all to keep positive vibes flowing. All right. Yeah, it's always a good feeling when you uh, actually get stuff accomplished at work. Some days you feel like you just spin your tires and putting out fires. Then you get that day where you guys are listed to do's and you actually get through things, it's like, hell yeah. It is possible. Okay, maybe I do need the uh, crowbar still. We got this keeper. Although we did suffer one scratch already. I may need to fall back. I thought I was going to be able to sleep in the uh, station here, but I may have to fall back to the house. Go back to us. Oh, fire axe. It's getting goodies everywhere. Merry Christmas. 
There we go, Fable. <laughs> I really want that wine or beta blockers, all the drugs plaza. If it first you don't succeed. Try it, try again. Alright, cheers. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah, time to hydrate. <laughs> Drink up. Uh, what do you think about the Z distribution? Should there be more or less? So right now, I've just got it on low. Just so we can actually explore some of the town today, so. Um, this feels good for exploration. Oh, security room with a strip bar. I don't know if we picked up a key, but that was, that's another good idea. I'm gonna try this house, though. Just a little drunk. Ha! You missed. Just die. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. No more pain. The sweet release of alcohol. Take me away to Slumberland. Just pretend it didn't happen. Uh oh, starting to pass out. Okay, sleep. Abraxas, my mate from Sweden and I are re-watching The Walking Dead. He's seen it before, and somehow I never did when it was first on. Hell, yeah, good luck, Abraxas. You got a long journey ahead of you. Unfortunately, Slender and I, we've never been able to make it through. We've tried a couple times, and we, uh, we always end up giving up after, like, the maybe partway through season four. Send help. Send room service. How's it going, man? Which part are you at now, Brexus? Are oh, you hoping to make it to season five? Right, Gromit? We picked it up at the strip club. Michael Jackson. Outfit of choice. Let's make sure we get this washed up. Uh, Fedora. They in the house? Tesla, <laughs> did you just put zombies in my house? Let me let me wash my clothes first. Uh, Fable, I'm doing a run in RimWorld where my colonists are all druggies, and I'm crafting a drug empire. I named it the Nation of Botany. <laughs> well. Hopefully you got enough drugs on hand for everyone. So I can see a lot of uh, mental breaks happening, if not. No point, you'll get bloody anyway. But we might as well start the, the day off fresh. Fresh and new. There we go. Side, right there. Baseball players. Or some baseball players. Oh. 
A Brexus tipped $20, buy Slender something nice. I love her mods, and this is for her less than three. I <laughs> Brexus appreciate that. I will indeed. We've got uh, Valentine's Day and Slender's birthday coming up, so we'll make sure to get her something nice. We'll get her a treat from a Brexus. Uh, no bulletproof vest. I just got a denim vest on. Yeah, it kind of clips through the uh, the jacket. Very much appreciated, Rexus. Yeah, Valentine's pizza does the trick. They have those heart-shaped pizzas, don't they? Oh shit! What's in the box? Yeah, Slender's uh, birthday is on the 13th. And one of the uh, cool things is Slender, myself, and Arcturus all have birthdays on the 13th of our respective months. Crazy, eh? What are the chances of that? Oh shit. Let's grab these tags. We got all a test loom. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, we did. All right, let's move on. Uh, people started with a bunch of smoke leaf and yayo to keep me going, but I only have one crafter and he's 14, so he's making all the drugs to the colony. Really sounding like Pablo Escobar right now, getting younglings to do the work. Yeah, I hear their, uh, their smaller hands uh, can wrap tighter joints, tighter smoke leaf joints. So I hear. Uh, did you find the Carol poster in my map? I have not. No. Not seen that yet. I do love all the posters, though. Oh, it's good. We'll keep our eyes out. In fact, the gallery is one block away. Sounds like that's our next stop. Double holster. We might as well grab that.
All right, so that just goes out to the uh, tracks on that side. Hey, Lily, were you? Uh, I know you had mentioned that you had rewatched the um, Christmas, the Herschel scene the other last week. Was it? Water bottle. Appreciate it, Alter. Were you a, a fan of Walking Dead all the way through? Nice, we got it back up there. Let's get rid of that bottle. We got our vending machines. Fantastic. All right. Uh, we got a whole bunch stacked up here. Okay. Let's hand these in. Katana, nice, and a uh, like a camo duffel bag. Does that have the same weight reduction? Sixty-five. Does all right. I want that. That looks cooler. This is highly illegal one. This uh, train station better have a permit for selling katanas. Highly irregular. All right, let's grab that. She'll save that. J-Man six, five, four, three, two. Oh, we don't have, we missed one of J-Man's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're missing two of Bez's. <laughs> the katana, this vending machine the whole time. All right, well, I guess we'll keep those with us. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I thought this was America. Kind of like how you have uh, different length of benches. Something a little different. The little details. Oh, I wanted to add only blade weapon spawn to the Courtman Easter egg, but it was a lot of work. Can be done though, maybe in a future update. That's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. We got more posters. We got more wand favorites. And this is Vending Machine Central. I like your little cubbies, little tuck away positions. I noticed that in the um, the mansion as well. We got up here. Oh, is this the gallery? The viewer gallery. All right, well, we're going there next. Grocery works. Speaking of the mansion, I added a master bedroom. I was embarrassed I just I didn't add it. The piece of work. All right, we'll have to make our way back over there sometime. And yeah, Slender was all 
looking forward to seeing how grand the master bedroom was going to be. <laughs> and Flop was like, uh... I didn't actually add one. And then Salt, uh, this is the new map, yes. We had uh, taken a first look at it on Friday. We're back again today. So we just took a look at the uh, train station. And we're heading over to the viewer's gallery right now. Or viewer gallery. Morning, Oz Gamer. How's it going? Aw, snap. JJ, try to time it. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> if you could have got that timed with the uh, window smash, that would have been perfect. Bidding machines. Excellent. Oh, that's a big starry night. Let's start over here. This is Juan's home. I like the setup. Is this in a new official map or a mod? This is a mod. Juan F16 in chat. This is his creation. So it looks like each each picture is unique, hey? I don't think I've seen any duplicates. Take what you need. You can grab them all. Oh yeah, we need some Bob Ross in here for sure. Hey, here's the Carol poster. <laughs> That's awesome. And did, did you make that, or is that an actual, is that a uh, fan art? An actual fan made? That's cool. Well, I would definitely take the, uh, the Starry Night for my base. Cool. All right, that's. Oh, there's another wing back here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, Carol started juicing. Oh, and still some. Sp oh, hey, <laughs> there's our boy. That's awesome. Oh, there's a couple of them here. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Very cool. All right, let's head upstairs. Definitely go upstairs, okay. So you can get a good view of the uh, stuff downstairs from up here. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> hey, I know, I know that guy. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, nice. I got drunk over there as well. <laughs> the ghoul king. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and ambiguous. It's the Hall of Fame. <laughs> it's awesome. He's got such a good picture. <laughs> oh, this is a cool one. Uh, Lime was there too. Did I miss Lime's picture? Oh, hold on. Is it on this wall? Nope. Oh, yeah, there's Lime. Yeah. Yeah, the cutaway. I missed it on the cutaway. There we go. Very cool. Why is the gallery filled with the big titty anime girls? Kentucky <laughs> got taste, man. What can I say? Alright, let's check it over on this side too. Very cool one. Oh, there's a Pepe down there I missed. Oh, there's Daryl and Rick. That's a good photo. Yeah, this is quite the gallery. <laughs> Dara and Rick right next to my anime booba. Perfect. Yeah, very good. Very good. Well done, one. Alright, let's move on to the next spot. Oh dear. I've I've ruined that painting. All right, very cool. Oh, 
Oh, actually, we didn't see this wing over here, did we? Let's take a look through the window. Oh, it's Electra Hall. Cool. So, a big park. What's this building? Uh, brief disclaimer, not all those I added because I wanted. Asked some friends to give me two posters they wanted in game. That's cool. They get their own little pieces on wood. Sorry I'm breaking all your windows, Juan. Someone locked the doors on us. <laughs> Gotta make our own way in. I feel like this is just like a great map to come and dismantle stuff for electronics and metalworking. Seen quite a few uh, payphone banks. Lots of computers and filing cabinets everywhere. Looks like it's just like an office. Oh, this is the bank. Okay. All right, so let's uh, let's go downstairs again. Uh, that would make sense. Yes, of course. Looks like the t the uh, computers fell through the desks. stuff downstairs behind bars bathroom fix the computers oh yeah so we're on the um, an older version of the map chat well, it's got an updated one yeah, we might be able to take a look at after our lunch break It's our universal key. security doors so those are like the safety deposit boxes security room <laughs> yeah be the devil out devil out of it with a uh, meat cleaver all doors shall open before you
Oh. Gold bars. Damn. We hit the jackpot. Let me in. <laughs> the APN is insane. Next level. That's a lot of gold. Oh yeah, the ecstasy of gold. <laughs> Encumbrance 30. Alright, it's not like it's lunchtime. That's pretty cool. Very, very cool. I'm on the great uh, gold heist run to Tandil. Alright guys, we're going to take our lunch break. And... Um, uh, Juan, if if you uh, if you still want to have us take a look at the updated version, feel free to message me. Um, we shall be back in about thirty minutes, and we'll probably uh, probably start up a new run. We'll probably bump up the zombies a bit. It's, it's a little quiet here on our current settings, so we shall continue our exploration of Tandil. I don't mind starting a new map on no issue at all. So yeah, we'll be back in a little bit, guys. And I'll uh, keep an eye on the message there, one. Right, guys.
You're a monster.
All right, we're back. I think we've got everything ready to go here. Let's double check. Should be good. Good evening. Jam Brad. Hey, hey. All right, let's bump up the zombie pop a little bit. So let's go to normal. Uh, new map or mod? Yes, so we are continuing our exploration of Juan's new map, Tandil, which is going to be south of Martridge, a 25 cell map. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that same. Uh, even on normal call spawns, we'll find a lot of them. Let's take a look. Uh, car spawn rates got very low. Let's just go. Should I just go normal or should I go low? Uh, it is... good question, is it six months later? It is 12 months later. Do you guys want to see it in pristine condition? We've been playing on 12 months later. Go on low? Okay. Uh, low, okay. So we'll go low, car spawn, normal zombie pop. Uh, zero months since the apocalypse. Let's see the weepness in all its glory. <laughs> all its new glory. Alright, sounds good. I'm down. Let's do it. Hello there. Thomas Laugh, how's it going? Welcome back. Nibble repairman all day. So we had, uh, what was the first name, Dub? Y Yolanda, Yolandis? Something like that? Can't remember. You. Um, uncle? Who's this guy? Uncle Cracker. <laughs> All right, let's go. Is this the Quartman run? Not the Quartman run. No, we're just doing um, New World in the on the uh, Tandil map. This is the uh, the updated, the most recent updated version of the the map that won provided here with more spawn locations uh, more car spawns and uh, all the zones sorted out it sounds like all the forge zones I believe All right, I think this is different. I think we're in a different spot. Doesn't look like the hotel. Let's grab some water. Get the jalapeno. Right, emergency stash of food. There we go.
Oh man, trust me. If you end up in the hotel, you'd be incredibly lucky. No, this is somewhere different for sure. I don't recognize this parking lot. Oh wait, no, I recognize the uh, the yard over there. So we've walked over into this area before. But we haven't been in this building. What do you seem to understand? Jesus, I'm scared. Of you. <laughs> I'm locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> That's right. When I reach for the doorknob. I don't want to oh, be locked in here. Woo. Um, baseball bat. Come on, shotgun shells. I don't believe there's a use for perfume in vanilla. I'm not sure about um, in other mods like Hydrocraft if there might be a a use. Uh, back up. On a backpack. May need that. I like the, um, the bachelor pad style layout. It's a pretty big kitchen, hey, for a small apartment. It's nice. Uh, there was a survivor in one of these two similar building apartments. Can't recall if it's the one you were in. Ooh. All right, we'll keep an eye out. That is a uh, dirty toothbrush. Shocking. A shocking discovery today. The world of Project Sunblade. The used toothbrush. On the top floor, okay. We will head up to the top floor. This guy's got a piano. Fancy man. Alright, we got pepper, we got some hot sauce. We're set. Up we go. Top, top floor. <clears throat> Keep going up. Here we go. He's going to eleven. Oh god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the timing of the uh the eleven combo. Oh. Interesting. Wood panels. Oh, this is a uh, this is a big one. The shadow. How's it going? 
Keep in mind that you can now find an in-game map. So if you see any magazine racks, go for them. Okay, yes. Keep your eye out. Oh, two fridges. This is a... This is a rich one. Nigel. A fresh Nigel. Nice apartment. Hope you're doing good, man. A little sick myself, but you're streaming, so I have some entertainment. Well, sorry to hear you're uh, not feeling too well, man. Uh, things are going good on this side. Oh, yeah, rich. Only one bath. Attempting to appear rich, I suppose. So many dead rats. So many guns. So how many bathrooms do you need <clears throat> copper sent before you're we can consider someone in Zomboid rich? More than two. Hmm. That might be it. I believe that warrants further investigation. Two baths, the walk in closet at least. Yeah, you gotta have a walk-in closet. I agree with that. Who needs a sledgehammer when we have a meat cleaver? Get out of here. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I can't. I need a hammer. I can't just kick it over. Alright. Let's keep right out for a hammer. Alright. Down we go. We'll come back to this location. The roof maybe had a hammer. Oh, is there like a uh, utility closet up there? We can take a look elsewhere. Oh, there's the train station as well. Okay. So we're in the same general area. Trying to get our bearings from some of these locations. Uh, there was a, there's a truck here. We should check that. Maybe that has a hammer. Screwdriver. Tape. Let's take that. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And some shoe plonkies. Appreciate it, test loan. It's our lunch. That was the office. Uh, 
Uh, maybe I added a bit too many cars and spawns for characters. I spent the past two days only adding that. Well, we've only seen um, a few cars so far. Let's see how it feels after we've explored a bit of the city. Chat can help provide some feedback. We're on normal car, or no, sorry, we're on low car spawn. Should check that ambulance, eh? Jason spots us right away. Sidjik, how's it going? Appreciate the visitor. And appreciate the machete. What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box? Okay, we need to go to the uh, vending machine. Some bags, perfect. Okay, so we know there are... Um, we'll come back to that. We know there's vending machines in the train station. We can get over there. Hey, Rick. Uh, the gallery had some as well. Okay. That's right, it did. Yes. Down at the front. Try for the uh, station since we're here. I am invisible. stuff <clears throat> I'll hold off and pick up too much stuff until we get that bag so we're almost full right now I wonder how it looks with a 10 years later mod oh yeah Try that at some point too, eh? Even on the uh, twelve months later, I think that looked pretty cool. Got jumpers. Alright, we're gonna go straight down. Oh, I saw some up there as well. Jump down. Oh, maybe they're attracted to that radio. Is 
Let's have a tag. Yeah, you're being all sneaky up there. <clears throat> bowling ball bag. First time I've actually seen the bowling ball bag. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Uh, noted, fix the railings. Oh, is there not supposed to be the, uh, are those platforms unintended? Escaped inmates. That's a double bag. An upgrade already. Oh, you saw a rat. 100%. It's our good luck charm. Okay, so let's grab one of those. Actually, it has a rope and a screwdriver in that one. Let's take that one. We'll keep the bowling ball bag. Alright, then we got two more. Two more tags? Yeah, two more for Rick. Uh, your style changed a lot during the making of the map. More like it's missing the side railing on the stairs. Oh, I see. Cool, cool. Uh, do you want some guns or ammo? We could always use some aftermath. Want to cause some shenanigans? We've got a few things stacked up here, so. Let's see what this one is. Fanny pack. Looks like we still got five to get through. It's supposed to be like leftovers from last time it's in the box? Aftermath, appreciate it. Some guns. Oh yes, I was right, there is a shotgun out front. Let's go back and grab that. Ooh, piece of candy. That'd be a, uh, that'd be, a, <clears throat> excuse me, a good mod. Good mod idea. Every time our character sees a piece of candy, it activates the piece of candy. <laughs> Sound effect and player movement. Alright, shoddy. Uh, 
Merry it's Christmas, okay. you filthy animal. Thank God I got that smash bottle out of my shoe. Merry was Christmas, you filthy animal. Wondering when someone would point that out. I have a frying pan. Blunt weapons galore. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> Too much candy. Too much shoe candy. Alright, let's check out the uh, security room. I think anyone had keys. Oh, no, they did have a key. Perfect. Thirty-eight nine mil. Thirty-eight. We're gonna hold out for shotgun shells. We got two boxes already. Which let's unpack those. So we're ready to go. Uh, what happened with the Z pool? Did it not update? It did not update. Uh, let's try again. Let's try another one. So tie between army camo green and army instructor. Let's see. I don't know why that one didn't update. Let's run another one. It had been working up until now. Uh, the ties shouldn't break things. So I've got... It's a Martridge map. I've got logic in there for... I think for each potential tie. So it would have been a tie between B and C. Yeah, we'll find out. Okay, so train station, bank, which we took a look at, art gallery, which we took a look at. Let's go another block north. That's not working. Oh, 
Hold on, chat. It once more escaped inmates. Game says we haven't seen all the escaped inmates yet. Gotta collect them all. Do a test. That updates now. Just restarted touch portal since we fixed it. Plug it, in. unplug it, plug it back in. The um, outfit pull broke for some reason. Yeah, the two way tie. Oh, here, then let's try. Right, it was both times two toy two eight ties. Let me try the another tie. Should pick redneck. No, it is the ties, okay. Dub, you were correct. <laughs> Zombie spawn, vote. <laughs> I spend my life debugging other people's code. What isn't? We've had ties before, though, haven't we? Two way ties? Have we just not noticed that it's not working? The three-way tie works, but the two-way tie doesn't. A clear winner works, right? A clear winner works. We'll be back in a sec here, guys.
Hmm, not sure. Have to take a closer look after the stream, I think. Something looks like it should be correct. Oh, unless... No, that should be right. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some more. Everything looks like it's right here. But obviously something is wrong for the two-way ties. I'll do some more investigating after the stream. It's not, um, it's not transferring the name of the winning vote in the two way tie to my outfit results value. Everything else looks like it's set up the same way as the clear winner and uh, the three-way tie, so must have a typo somewhere. That's a terrifying mask. Jesus. Wrinkles the clan. <laughs> yes. That is a little scary. Or I can wear the uh, hockey mask with that. Let's drop that one. Jesus. Okay, and let's take the balloon. I don't have a balloon slot. Okay. We're not taking the balloon. Yeah, it's a cool hat, though. That is apparently Wrinkles the Clown. <laughs> That's a bit terrifying, eh? I've never seen that one before. Like a psycho killer now. More so than the uh, hockey mask. Kind of looks like Leatherface, yeah. It does. Leatherface with some clown makeup. So one thing I didn't notice until recently. I'm sure it's been the case for a while, but... When zombies are knocking on a door... Yeah, I like that door thumping sound. And then, uh, like two thumps before it's about to break, the sound actually changes. To like a, a deeper knocking sound. I never noticed that until... Um, I think it was... While I was recording last week. Five thousand hours. <laughs> Like I said, I'm sure it's been like that. For some reason it just registered. Rage, appreciate the hydrate. But now I'm always hearing it. I can't unhear it. Must 
Must be some rusty ass fence doors like that if they broke. Yeah. Hmm. A little camp office in the park. I don't think we've went through the park, did we? We made a fast walk through here. Let's go for a stroll. It's a golf course. Okay. If it was a, a gold course, I'd be very interested. Ha! You missed. <laughs> Just gotta go around and dig up all the gold. Alright, so... Ah, so that'd be like one of the holes up there, eh? Also, okay, that's the clubhouse. Gotcha. That's a big sand trap. Oh. oh. Okay. I see. Okay, let's throw that on our belt. Swap it for our screwdriver. I saw a golfer right there too. Yeah. Hey, Trash Bandit, appreciate the lurk. Good luck with Crisis. Kill golfers, they lock me up and throw me away the key. I say gophers, not golfers. <laughs> Reminds me of the uh, naked gun line. When I see five maniacs dressed up in togas stabbing a man in the park in the in broad daylight, I shoot the bastards. That's my policy. Those were Shakespearean actors. Good ones. Uh, exploration of the map is going going well. No, like I said, we keep on my We're uh, checking out the golf course right now. Shoot first to ask, ask later, yeah. Uh, any cool spots? Lots of cool spots, yes. Um... So far, we've seen the uh, train station today, the art gallery, a uh, golf course here. We saw a bank with like a gold deposit in the back. Um, on Friday in our stream, we uh, came across a few Nomus Plays community Easter eggs. Lily's Church of Chaos. Nomus plays driving school. Uh, what else? We saw the uh, a large church in the middle of town. With the uh, secret in the basement. Oh, lots of good loot, yeah. Lots of good loot. There's a few spots with um, huge guns and ammo deposits. Tomislav? Oh, yes, the radio chat tower. Have a good day at work, Tomislav. I'll try not to die too much. Uh, the Ram Ranch. That was a good one. Oh, no. <laughs> Here's a parking kit. <laughs> 
Appreciate it, Tomislav. <laughs> one, one solitary Z. It's the one and only Christy McCormick reporting live from the Tandel Golf Course. <laughs> Alter, appreciate the cheer. Now, I don't have the attack helicopter set up. I have the random helicopter set up, but since you're a, a gentleman. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Send one in. A viewer and a gentleman. Hey, Rancid, how's it going? Is our head of cauliflower? Um, kind of. It's Wrinkles the Clown. Now we dodge. Well, so much for dodging. Shot in the chest and the foot. What's in the box? I tried to dodge, I did not see the shadow in time. Uh, we surprisingly take gunfire to the chest very well. But uh, we may be dead. We'll see. Appreciate the cheer, Alter. Oh boy. <laughs> it's the, the Mafia is after us. Albanians. <laughs> oh no. The Albanian Mafia. <laughs> yeah, it's the ballers from GTA. We've stepped into gang territory. Christmas. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Oh. Let's say these ones don't have dog tags, but they do. We're just over encumbered. Alter appreciate the thread. We will use that for stitching up our wound. And the chipstone for digging out our bullets. That would be painful. Uh, why are you limping? We just got shot in the chest by a helicopter and in the foot. The double whammy. We got two bullets, courtesy of Alter. I got too much stuff. I gotta pick this up manually. Like a chump. I should have got them all. Or down them all, at least. Let's see. Three, five, six, seven. Oh no, we got a few to go. Where's the rest? Up there, I guess. I uh, haven't taken out the bullets Merry yet. Christmas, More thread. Okay, we can stitch up everything. 
I don't know. Alter. <laughs> I think you're broken. <laughs> Another chipstone. What are the chances? Two chipstones and two spools of thread. The exact same combo. It's like, I'm not kidding, you gotta dig that out with a chipstone. Merry Christmas, Christmas, filthy animal. Filthy animal. Vitamins? Oh, they came through at the same time. That was the exact same time. I'm not sure if they both registered. And we have to manually send one. Uh, I think it's this one. It's not that one. Oh, big fanny pack. Hold on, I have to send one in. I think since they came in at the exact same time, they only registered one. Uh, general supplies. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. There you go. It was a pop. It was a delayed pop. Leave the bullets in. You can use your willy to mark on Merry the map Christmas, now. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. There's an overabundance of chip stones. That's because I'm walking through all this sand. <laughs> Alter. But I'm not done. I'm not ready. Okay, it's just one. It's just one. Oh no, it was a battery. Okay, we did get it. I just missed it. This guy must have just missed his ride from the earlier group. Alright, I need to, um... Find... A suture needle or some tweezers. Houses down there. Houses up there. That's probably the closest one. Off we go. Or maybe we can get lucky and get a car. We saw one pharmacy yesterday, yeah. Um, and we did go to the hospital. Or, sorry, on Friday. Don't remember where that was, though. Oh, we are hurt. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal! Okay, there we go. Plonkies. <laughs> Some food finally, Alter. <laughs> we got chipstones, thread, batteries. And a Plonkies thing. Food does exist. A long, limping walk in the rain. The mask really suits you now, yes. Sad plan. Okay, a better backpack. Excellent, Rancid. Excellent. Let's get all this stuff transferred over. 
before we get eaten. Oh, freaking out. You thought you gave us planks? <laughs> no. The tartan golf cap. We're about to upgrade from our mask. Yeah, we can't have any two-way ties. It's not allowed, chat. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's gonna be break it. Can't be full. <laughs> Overload the pharmacist. There we go. A clear winner. Yeah, I'll get that fixed for uh, Thursday. All right. Looking better. Well, we're not really looking better, but at least we're not encumbered. Be Chewy Chop, welcome on in. Rail, how's it going? We're very sneaky, eh? I almost didn't see you there, Rail. Stealth plus one. You still playing Vintage Story? Slow. So I'm going to try and get to those houses and hopefully we get lucky and find it tweezers. I haven't been playing many games recently. Too busy with work. Fair enough. And how is work going? How is the department? Just small houses. Green target cap. What are you guys think blue or green? I kind of like the blue one as well. Blue, blue. All right. It's unanimous. Uh, work is going well. Extremely busy, but good. Oh, that's good to hear, bro.
Is it uh, quarter end type busy? So I know our. Uh, I used to work in the credit department. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. End of January, beginning of February was always a busy time. Appreciate it. Altar. What was it? A kitchen knife? A uh, newspaper Merry stand may Christmas, have a, a man. Oh, and a nightstick. Where's the newspaper stand? Right there. Okay. Let's <laughs> hobble over there. Uh, yep, quarter end and mid year projection time. Yep. Yeah, I remember uh, this time of year I'd have all their usual quarter end stuff going on and then for their credit department we'd have to uh, sort out our uh, doubtful allowance for the uh, start projecting that out for the year. Okay, so is there, there's a door on that side? Yeah. More plonkies. No map. No map, but we got snacks. Let's toss that in here. <laughs> you guys think chance of finding uh, tweezers in these small houses? Gonna guess the bathrooms probably don't have much for containers. Nope. Yeah, we gotta go with bigger ones here. Wait, let's see. We got bigger houses down there. Yeah, we need a car. Uh, that's. A potential one there. Yeah, or a pharmacy or the hospital. I haven't seen any red on the map, so. I was thinking the house might be our best bet. If we can get a car, then we'll just search for a pharmacy or a hospital or a doctor's. Couple options up here. Hello, fellow survivor. Uh, two attachments. Does ours have two attachment points? Yes. Alright, well, we got another Alter Dog Tag. Uh, glove compartments may have them if I recall correctly. Fingers crossed. Ultra map. The doc 
fractals. Or are these pharmacists? Be nice if they had something. screwdriver. Ha, and another nightstick. Loading up on nightsticks. No tweezers. Thanks, Alter. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a stone knife. It's a weapon god just... Throwing weapons down into our shoes. Oh, the trunk. I missed the trunk rail. I opened it. I unlocked it and I forgot about it. Rage, appreciate the hydrate. We have to go back. We gotta go back for the trunk. Why repair this? I have no shortage of weapons now. That was definitely worth it. A little bit more use out of this machete. Oh, what's that? Toy monster. All right. Oh, my God, we got a little bit of gas. Let's go. Let's go Sunday driver. Uh, gas station first. Head to the gas station. Where's the gas station? <laughs> I remember there's the one by uh, the driving school. Oh my god, I'm almost out of gas. <laughs> oh, that's a car jam. North of the gallery, okay. Was this the uh, train station? This was the gallery? No, wait. Two blocks away. This was the gallery, okay. So north. Come on, make it to the gas station. It's a sports car there. This would have taken us a whole evening to go this far. Right there. Fire, 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 fire. All right, made it. Ha, you Some missed. Gas. Sweet. 
Yeah, fancy gas station hero. Oh, we got a vending machine there too. Okay, we can cash in. Yeah, I really like this gas station. It's got like a restaurant. What's in the box? Oh, first aid altar. <laughs> yes. Alter uh, sent the heli and then send them the uh, repair supplies. Oh shit! Just turn this off. Uh, for the first aid vending, did you include a filled medical kit? I believe I did. I can't remember what tier I put it at, though. We've got... I think there's a needle and a suture needle in the, the list as well. So we've got an 8. That should be a tier 3, I think. Try that one first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll need some luck here. Oh, <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> We're saved. What else we got? Anti knife. Boom. Alright, revolver. Two, three, four. Who's this? Could be nine. Hiking bag. I think there's a few bags stacked up. Yeah, okay. There's still two left in there. Wondering what van is stocking these vending machines. Some good Samaritan. Alright, let's go inside so we can... Stitch up. What? So we could just stitch up in the rain. Okay. Looks like Chad has been rough on you this evening. Now uh, we got a little unlucky with it. An attack helicopter. Magazine rack here, yeah, yeah. Here, let's stitch up first. We got shot in the chest and in the uh, and in the foot. All right, so let's stitch that. Now, does that use up the needle? No, we still have it. Okay. Nice. Okay. I 
no more limp. We can run at least. Louisville map. Uh, Gasco employee may have a key. Yeah, we'll go back and double check these. We are tired. We're in so much pain right now. Oh, talking about Zedpool. Oh, I wonder if the gas to go and play would have a key. That'd be interesting. Here, we can get this guy inside too. Uh, is this Wands map or your Hydrocraft stream? This is Wands map. Come back in. Yeah, this is Wands map, Tandil. No. I was wondering, I do not remember ever seeing a gas station like that. Now, this is a pretty unique gas station. Shamrock Spiffo. The one was saying he got inspiration from. I think he had, saw you said Degu? J Man, I'm still alive. We just managed to get a uh, a needle, a sewing needle from the vending machine. Got stitched up. Uh, no map. Yes, more plonkies. Yeah, I like the, um, I really like this setup here with the individual stores and storerooms. Very cool. How is Ark doing this evening? I haven't heard him announce himself yet. He's good. He's uh, keeping my toes warm right now. Sleeping underneath the desk. It's been pretty quiet today, though. He's calm. Oh, yes. Lighter for Molotov, of course. Oh, oh map of Rabbit Hash. Never mind. Not the one we're looking for. Got excited. Nope. Let's go back and grab that lighter. Where was it? Here? Okay. Uh, just me doing some nighttime lurking here. Don't mind me. No mind giving. How's it going, buddy? Cool. So we could sleep in that spot. Oh. That's gotta feel good on a bullet wound.
Got a lighter. Alright, I think we just sleep here. This would be a cool base. I guess we got some more commercial buildings off to the east. We have park up north. It's the golf course. Uh, we don't have any pain, which is a little surprising. If you make it to the top somehow, you can even dismantle the huge AC units. Oh, really? I did see those up top. That's cool. Um, I don't think we need to change that out. Let's just wait till we get a bit more tired. Are right, y'all sleepless as usual? It's right in the middle of the night here in Sweden, but fortunately, there's top class distract <laughs> distractment on the YouTube. For the win. Alright, let's sleep. Yeah, no pain after doing surgery on himself two times with the sewing needle. Nonetheless, this man's a, a trooper. Uncle Cracker, wasn't it? Uncle Cracker. Sounds like your dad, Rick. A tougher generation. All right, let's go explore more. We got wheels. We got a backpack full of supplies. We got bit. God damn it. <laughs> well, that was fun. Rip. <laughs> Head bite. Right on the noggin. All right, well, I guess uh, we leave this car for the next survivor. Just as things were turning around. We made it through the night and everything. Yeah, I shouldn't have said anything, Ariel. The game could tell I was... I was getting uh, too confident there. Can I put that in here? No, not for him. Okay. Great. That didn't even go inside. Let's leave this here. This will be our objective to get back to this gas station. Um, let's make sure we leave the keys in the car. Perfect. Corpman may provide, but complacency does kill. Perhaps we should tune in to radio chat. before the end. Ah, uh, we can finish filling it up, yes. We almost got there. Save the hat for the next one. I 
It's actually not the uh, the worst thing in the world. Getting bit, having to respawn. We can test out some of the other spawn locations. So Juan has been hard at work adding a bunch of new spawn locations. Alright, let's put that in the trunk then. Yes, it was all intentional. <laughs> For science. Chomped on the head. That will be me in a moment. There's a better car. A fireman. Oh, I guess from the burnt house. Is this the other uh, news station? Or TV station? The fire, de fire department is almost as big as the mansion. Wow. It was smell. Fire medic likes that. <laughs> the bigger the better. Alright, let's uh maybe go up to the rooftop and die. I'll wait for the helicopter. I know what's coming. Yes, we'll die on the helipad. Just open it up. Let it happen. Let the blood flow. Let the red, red crewvy. Little bit of the ultra violence. So long. Can we yet? Uh... <laughs> ah! <laughs> like the uh, a death scene from the nineteen twenties. <laughs> oh no, we missed the opportunity rage. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, uh, it's been a while. Uh, when did we first discover the sitting down death? How dramatic it is. I believe we were in the bathroom. He was sitting on the toilet and he dramatically died. 
Okay, so let's try another profession. That was a repairman. I think you said if we do a vet, there's a chance that we could spawn at the gun range. Is that right, uh, Juan? Or what would be some good profession spawns? Vet, but there are a billion spawns. <laughs> Every tile on the map is a potential spawn. Anything but chef. Okay, let's do veteran. Anything but chef. All right, smoker. Well, if we're going vet, we gotta go excessive exuberance. That's granted. Dextrous for sure. Okay. Let's do that. It's simple. D London. Borough Madison. Miles Monroe. Nona Wenzel. GG Aiken. That Villarreal. Homer Hankins. <laughs> yeah, there's the good boy. Arcturus has woken up. Uh, you're most likely going to spawn in a house, but if we're lucky. Tons of guns. Hopefully we're lucky. All right, random 10, Rick. It was meant to be. It's Ricky McMullen. Rick says, let's go Ricky. And it's ours. Better luck next time. But that's three spawns now. Three spawns now, not in the hotel. So I'd say... The additional spawns are working just fine, one. Yeah, I think he fixed the hotel issue. For sure. Oh, let's see where we are on the map. Way down here. Right next to a medical clinic. Perfect. Party time. Got a good feeling with this fella. What could possibly go wrong while wearing those tasty pink socks of his? Oh yeah. A man of fashion. Weather rain with a chance of sudden death. Dramatic. The news has got a little bit dramatic as of late. I'm sure they're overhyping the situation out there. Probably not going to last longer than a few hours. We've now switched over to uh, Ricky's internal thoughts. Construction site. Uh, or let's go to the medical clinic first, maybe. Got some time to kill? Why not head to the gun range? Blast a few caps. 
time to meet the neighbors. Now, I'm assuming we're going to need some medical supplies, so we're going to hit this up first. Safety in numbers. Hug your friends. Keep your friends close. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> you locked it away. <laughs> what a tease. <laughs> At least we didn't hobble over here with the other character. Only to find <laughs> that it's all caged up. Uh, might find a melee weapon in here? Okay. Yeah, it must be the rough part of town. Uh, lots of seeds. Shovel, okay. Just a thought on locked entry. Can you place a microwave next to the wall and put a fork in it? I think those, I think those walls burn down, don't they? Uh, Rail, you need a 10k channel point redemption for a sledgehammer. That'd be a good idea. Maybe just have like one or two redemptions per stream. David. We should try that, Rick. Let's go find their microwave. PC Labs is back in session. Might be one of that restaurant. Amnesia perfume for her. Did you make that one? Or did you find that somewhere? Yeah, that's a... That's a bit risky. That is oh. vanilla. You're a monster. <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> That's from Vanilla. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't seen that one before. Must be a Louisville summer, yeah. I feel like outside of Louisville, I only ever see the uh, slurp burp, spiffos. And maybe like one other billboard. Might have to just bust our way in. They got microwave. Oh, yeah, I see one. Now, I just need a muffin tray, would work. Let's see, it's got 
fork. Yeah, bread knife will work. Let's grab that. <laughs> I was uh, anticipating which which furniture I could actually climb over. I feel like if you go on the chair, you just get stuck. So I was contemplating which which one to break to get on the table. Uh, wait, does that really work? I thought he was being sarcastic. So you can start fires and microwaves with putting metal objects inside. I think you can burn down those metal barricades. I feel like I've done it before in at the West Point gun store when desperate, but we shall see. Let's try there. <laughs> there we go. I have made fire. Okay, uh, it does burn it down. I think I can climb through that. Time to do some sketchy shit. Do da, do da. Hope I get away with it. Oh, da, do da, day. <laughs> you can put it out now. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think this one through. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. No way. No way. What is this garbage? There we go. Have micro microwave. <laughs> we'll survive. If you're cold and need fire, plug in the microwave. When in a pinch. All right, we got food, we got some medical supplies. Get that like a needle, beta block. Ah, uh, we don't need those. Images though. Yeah, now they'll path to us. Uh, I didn't think this one through. It's one of the no, like I said, woo, a peed on my rug. many common phrases in Prime Exotic Wood. Collect them all. <laughs> Wait a minute, it works. Oh shit, what do I do now? <laughs> it worked. Oh god. Alright, nice. That was a nice controlled burn. I'm quite happy with that. Can you climb the fence? Test it for science. Like this one? No. Or, or this one over here? This one we should be able to climb. Yeah, they are uh, way more common than sledgehammers. Alright. Let's make our way back up to the car, the gas uh, station.
Actually, not that far. It's right up there, right? Let's get through the golf course. Yeah, it definitely helps without a bullet in the foot. Yeah, we were lucky to spawn somewhat close. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> That's what happened to us last time, Rail. We were over here. That's how we got shot. My expert diving maneuvers or dodging maneuvers were not so expertly placed. I think I dodged into the bullets. Hold on guys, I think Slender may be on a break here. So we're gonna take a quick break and we shall be back. Yes, come on.
We're back. Let's continue to the gas station. Need a germ fan? Welcome on in. You're still around. Just trying to keep to the fence here. Trying to draw too many. I think once we do get the car, we go directly to the gun range. Fashia, yeah. the yeah, fashion clothing store. Is there something you think needs to be added? Hmm. All that I can think of right now, it feels like it's got a, a really good variety of stuff. Um, I don't I don't feel like I've seen the whole place yet though. Sir Bubble Butt, welcome back. Appreciate the hydrate. I never left. It's been lurking the whole time. What a pro. Did take a nap though. You were here in body if not spirit. Video store, right? I don't think we've seen a video store yet, have we? There's one huge fire department, two police stations, a military camp, too. We did see the military camp on Friday. I don't think we saw the uh, police stations or the fire hall, though. So, we'll try and get to those today. And there is a video store, okay. No, definitely spirit, because I was in the other room on the bed. Okay. Well, hopefully it was a good nap. And the germ fan? Hello, hello. Yes. Keep the drinks flowing. Oh, we did go to the police station last stream? Trying to remember what it was like. Well, we'll go again because I can't remember what it was. I'll probably remember it once we get there, though. Uh, Rance says, "Cool video source should be in every a little bit of Zomboid. If you're old enough, you know. In the '90s, there were so many video rentals that there would be gimmick ones. Yeah, that's right." Even like little corner stores had like little video rental sections. I remember going down to uh, the local 7 Eleven with my grandma as a kid to rent a movie on the weekends. I must. Make noise with my shout. I think maybe I should save about twenty five thousand on hydrates. 
I'm gonna kill them by water <laughs> water overdosing. Oh boy, we got a little bit of a company here. Miles Bros, thanks again for all the content. Have a great night. You are absolutely welcome. Thank you for watching the content. I appreciate you. Makes me crazy that Muldra has houses without TV sets. Yeah, I guess there are some, aren't there? I never really thought about that. Okay, so hospital, school with football stadium, college, maybe newspaper video stores, storage units, car dealerships, auto parts store. Oh, car dealership. That's a good one. Um, there is a stadium. We did see a stadium. And a school. A large school. Oh, a shotgun. <laughs> he sees it in the backpack already. He's like, oh. Look at Licky. Auto parts store, medical clinics, just stuff I can think of offhand. Yeah, a used car lot would be good. A used car lot across from Nomas plays uh, <laughs> driving school. So you know there's gonna be some beaters. All right, well, let's grab that. Perfect. Yeah, use car lot with the service um, garage attached would be cool. That would be cool. Juan furiously taking notes. Overall, though, I, I do feel like it's a this feels like a city. We were talking about it on Friday. It, it feels pretty balanced. As far as like, um, or maybe, maybe balance isn't the right word, but it just, it feels like a, uh, a well-planned out city. That fits in very well with the, the rest of the vanilla map. Hey, Spiffos. That's a cool Spiffos. That's very different from any other Spiffos out there, hey? Let's take a look at this. Oh shit, where are we carrying that so heavy? All these weapons. Put those in the car. Oh man, if I showed you my plans, I have literal plans made for the city. awesome that's how you do it right that's how you get the right results it's taking the time to plan it out I think it paid off yeah I think I used car lot that'd be a, a good idea oh a bowling alley There are a few. He's already thought of it. <laughs> Alright, let's pick up these uh, shovels and hoe. Let's 
let's see, we don't need the plank. The toolbox, there's our hat. So much stuff here. Let's put some of these weapons away. trying to tidy this stuff up. Okay, that's good. There. Yeah, I want to take a look at the uh, spippos here. And we'll continue down to the gun range. Newspaper hat. Uh, Rats asks, is this standalone or added to the county map? Added to the county, south of Martridge. Now, we didn't actually get to see the uh, connecting highway last time, so that's also something I want to check out today as well. Some of these locations, they just look like they would fit into any of the standard maps, any of the standard towns. That's yeah, Pippo's already. Expect to see something like that in Louisville. Like even the small things like the parking lots for the businesses. Like so many little details. On the street lamps and garbage bins it's even got like a drive through all the way around Skylights. It'd be cool if you could put skylights into uh, custom base designs. Well, where are these payphones? That's cool. Oh, 
Okay. Gun range. So, from what I remember last time, it was on the far south end of town. Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, bah. Yes, let's go blast. Just start driving south. Oh, it's school bus. I wonder if that's a school over there. Southwest, okay. Uh, go into payphone and turn into super no -less. There we go. There's a mod idea. Go into a payphone, wait a couple seconds, and then come out in a superhero costume. I remember the uh, campsite in the park. More payphones. Let's go down here. Oh, I remember the yellow fences. All right, this, this is where Probably coming up to the hotel soon. Whoops. Didn't see that guy. Townhouses. Roadblock. It's our boys. Our boys in, well, I was going to say boys in blue, but our boys in brown. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no! <laughs> Ricky, no! That's a that's a few too many. It's but a scratch. <laughs> it's but a very boot, a very deep scratch. Time to do some sketchy shit. Do da do da. Hope I get away with it. Oh da do da day. Sketchy indeed. Climb. Oh no, I can't climb. Ah, oh, okay. Here we go. Hey Jace, how's it going? Oh, come on in. Uh, where's our smokes? Did we pick up smokes? Maybe we haven't picked up smokes yet. Jesus. And remember, every life-threatening injury is just another opportunity for us to test a new spawn location. <laughs> there are no losers in Product Soundboid. Only new beginnings. It's all calculated risks. <laughs> Let's 
It's getting flashbacks to the uh, the crawler slug from Friday. Those two uh, crawlers merge together. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's, right, let's grab that. Off for him. <laughs> let's see. There's like a grease stain there. Oh, uh, our key. I saw a first aid kit here as well. Alcohol wipes, suture needle. Nice. Tune in. Right on. Any idea why I can't hook a trailer, a uh, truck trailer up? I do it the same as hooking something to a car, but it doesn't give me the option. Hmm. Are you using the, uh... Yeah, either not close enough or the angle's weird. Could be the uh, reason. Are you using the, the, the V? V for Victor? Hotkey? Oh, and then yes, I think so, I think you're right. One, I think some sports cars can't too. They don't have a hitch on them. Taking a truck, not a car. Yeah, that should be able to tow it then. Oh yeah, is it a vanilla car or a vanilla trailer or a modded trailer? If it's vanilla and with a truck, I don't think I've had an issue to on those before. Truck with a semi trailer. I haven't tried to hook one of those up. Ah, rail nose, though. Oh, the blasting shall commence. I started blasting. Yes, we're starting now. Should be able to shut the windows, hey? Did that work, Trash Bandit? A real save the day? The zone's working now. You should be able to find stories on the forest, uh, on the trail ends. Uh, they are a bit rare, though. Awesome. I love finding stories there in the, uh, those randomized stories. Now you got a hundred thousand story, or one thousand, hundred thousand would be kind of insane. <laughs> I had two boxes of shells. I'll be able to get a couple 
few more shells off of these corpses. Just an old guy with some wisdom occasionally. Sometimes that's all we need, Rail. Payback for getting our necks scratched. Uh, don't worry, the range is nearby and the huge weapon sealer. Perfect. Alright, let's go back one of these coppas. Let's see if they have a shotgun. Well, I saw one shotgun. Yes, zero shells though. So I got a box left. And we're close to the military camp. Oh, lots of ammo out there. Oh, and then you know we're gonna go to the church. How <laughs> that I know. Well, what lies in the basement? See this? This is my boomstick! Oh, Ray, you may not have been here on Friday. No spoilers in chant. We'll make sure we make it to the church today. Yes, dark secrets. Might have to go soon. Yeah. Uh, Rail, yes, so there's two churches. There is Lily's Church of Chaos, and then another church. So, who wasn't here on Friday? Who is the uh, who's is this the first time seeing the map? So if there's a few of you, uh, we'll make sure we hit up all the locations we saw last time too. Rail, scary Nico. Hey, scary Nico. Uh, Copper scent. All right. So yeah, there's some cool uh, community Easter eggs. Yes, time to revisit. I looked in the end uh, when you were teleporting around. That's right. Yeah, I think you had moved off to the uh, the couch to watch on the big screen. If I remember correctly. All right, let's actually just go. You saw the Chipotle place. All right. All right, I just need this to start. <laughs> okay, let's go. Alright, should I go south from here? Are we far enough south, Juan? Oh no, I remember this. Was it up there? Did we just pass it? Uh, Fiber and I get my... Uh, my son and I both have COVID. It was kicking our butts. 
I didn't know you had both had it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are starting to feel better soon. Yeah, it's up. Okay. So it, this is there here. Yes, I remember the wall. We over it now, just resting. Occupational hazards. It's all good. All right, let's get to here. Rage, appreciate the hydrate. Oh, it was literally right here. Oh yeah, in the big lake. And the Kill Bill poster. <laughs> Took the scenic route, yeah. Oh, we're stalling out. Gotta find the entrance. There it is. Uh, what was the building that had Nomus on it? So there is a Nomus driving school, which we'll definitely go take a look at. driving schools that's surrounded by trees <laughs> there's a few obstacles in there we'll make sure we go back we gotta get a sports car though that's the rule we gotta go fast Young Anakin is enjoying. Yeah, multi hit is ridiculous. All right, so I had a door back here. See if this is open. And it is. Right, onto the ammo. Oh, this is the bar. Okay. There may not be ammo in here. Oh, yeah, let's check our neck. Good call. We got an experter. <laughs> no ammo, but plenty of shots. All the shots. Uh, let's take a bourbon for burning down. Should we need to? Ooh, hold on. Some stuff back there for sure. Uh, don't 
Do I still have a meat cleaver? Yes. Let's turn the lights too. Lots well, of cozy little reading spot. There might be weapons in here. It's a security door. Unless they keep all their booze behind lock and key. <laughs> That's a hell of a lot of damage. All right. Let's go cause some mayhem. Yeah, best to keep it on our lock and key. Key. Lock and key, especially with all the booze. Oh, and we're getting tired. Perfect time to start a start a shooting spree. May as well be the Winchester. A lot of ammo back there. What if these other buildings have stashes as well? Uh, what's your dream mod for Zomboid? As in one that doesn't exist yet? Well, it doesn't exist yet. I think, um... I think just more integration stuff. Which, uh, continues to be built out by... Awesome modders like Rick and... Mess. Yeah, I think at this stage I just want to see... How far we can, how far we can continue to take the chat integration. Things like affecting Moodles. Adding or removing traits. Which is actually something that Ness is currently working on. Flying an airplane so he could crash it. <laughs> I'm sure there's trees up there as well. More stuff, Rick? We got so much good stuff already. I am, uh, I've talked about it, or I've made mention of it in the last couple streams, but. I'm playing around with that uh, chat GPT a lot recently. I'm going to have chat GPT write a, uh, an integration mod for a Zomboid. not mods then what new official game features oh so i'm really looking forward to the basements i think um the basements and the, the new lighting update those are the couple things i'm most excited for animals are going to be cool i think animals are going to take a, a lot of a lot of work to take care of could ChatGPT make a, a map for Zomboid? 
Uh, I'm that I'm not sure of. It's all like text based. That yeah, chat GP, at least what, from what I've seen so far, that they can do. It seems to be quite competent at coding. But from what I remember with the mapping, and one you can confirm, is you need to make like, like a heat map. You kind of have to like paint stuff out first, right? In a PNG file. With like different colors for different terrain types and like grass and pavement. Yeah, like Scully, that's a good idea. Just describe a big city after a zombie apocalypse, and you can use that description as a, a jumping off point, maybe. Yeah, right now I'm trying to get ChatGPT to write me a custom program to like replace Touch Portal. Or with a long term goal of replacing Touch Portal. Uh, what's Touch Portal? Touch Portal is a application that um, that I use for initiating the majority, well, pretty much all of the uh, chat integration stuff that I use for Project Soundboy. So it it can listen for specific events. So like with Twitch, it can listen for you know chat messages or channel point reward redemptions or bit cheers. From new followers, new subscribers, and then you can tell Touch Portal to initiate different sequences of events based on those things. And it can control OBS, so you could say tell Ch Touch Portal to whenever there's a new follower, change the OBS scene to this scene, make this source visible in OBS. Initiate this key press to spawn zombies. That kind of stuff. Uh, with this AI stuff, we are at the entrance of the matrix. I agree, Rail. In the past, I've like played around with the um, the chatbots. Just for like fun stuff, like just have silly conversations. But this one's the first time I've actually tried it, tried to get it to do work for me. So like yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I had it just by like talking to, to chat GPT and like describing things that I, I wanted, I was able to get it to code like a simple calculator, which was kind of cool. And like, I don't, I don't know any coding. So it's just like talking to it in normal conversation language. And then it's just like, I want I want a program that can do this using this language or or which languages do you know which language do you think would be best for doing something like this and it would give its recommendation and say okay so let's use that language and I want a program 
that can add two numbers together and then spit out the answer. And it's like, okay. And it takes it like 15 seconds to write out the code. It's pretty cool. Tried to use GPT, but now it's not available. There's a waiting line. Oh, really? That sucks. Talk about new tech. Uh, when DNA storage is viable, I think it will be revolutionary. Would that be like the uh, the key to some sort of immortality? You could store DNA and then upload your consciousness to a hard drive. Then just 3D print yourself in the future. Uh, doesn't Notion also have its own AI thing that does the same thing? I don't know about that. I, I've only, have, uh, I don't, or I haven't done a lot of research into the different AIs out there. I've just heard of GPT because it's been getting a lot of attention, I guess. Uh, does it work offline or only online? I've only been able to use it online. So I think it's only online. Uh, no, no, it's storage like a hard drive, but it's DNA based. Oh, interesting. <laughs> DNA based storage. Interesting. Uh, whatever brought, yes, this is a new map mod called Tandil. Made by uh, one of our community members, Juan F16 in chat. Bard is what Google is calling theirs and doing a presentation about it tomorrow. I'll play. keep an eye out for that, Rancid. Yeah, so with the GPT thing, if I'm... I haven't quite got it to do, aside from like that calculator thing, something that I wanted to do yet. But once I am, then uh, we're going to have a stream where we build a... Uh, we're going to build something on stream together with the help of chat GPT. I think that'll be, I think that'll be cool. You need to take like suggestions from chat. Uh, look it up, a full cloud service warehouse would become as big as one centimeter of DNA storage is successful. That's insane. Imagine playing PZ while it's hooked up to your brain. It'd be a different way to play. The um, Neuralink. I think I saw a Twitch clip of a girl that was playing a game, or at least making a character like attack using something that was connected to her her brain. I don't know if it was real or not though. Yeah. You saw that, or something like that as well, Rancid? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was Elden, it was like Elden Ring, or it looked something similar to Elden Ring. It's like, whoa, that's insane. Is that real? Yeah, so I've seen the um, videos of like Neuralink and the monkeys um, controlling sc stuff on screen.
and Elon Musk talking about it. I didn't think they were on, there was anything for like human trials yet. Maybe it wasn't like, uh, maybe it wasn't connected to like the brain. Maybe, maybe if anything, that person, maybe it's just like muscle, muscle twitches or something. I heard about some animal deaths with Neuralink. Yeah, yeah. Some of the YouTube shorts with people. Uh, and their CGI creations are insane, like the ones with the moon falling into Earth. Like the AI art stuff, bro. Uh, it was the brain? Yeah, the, the monkey the monkey ones were the brain. I was just wondering if, like, the, the clip on Twitch... Uh, Scully ran a text on GPT for ran a zombie city. Is it a long description? Do you want to post it in chat if it's not too long? Give me a full text with 500 words of a city that's been overrun by zombies. Describe the city and what it was once like before the zombie apocalypse. Describe its main neighborhoods and buildings. Yeah, if it's 500 words, um, definitely post it in uh, Discord. That'd be interesting to read. Cause yeah, that would be a, um, that could be a cool mapping project. Use that as like a jumping off point. All right. Question one, are there more, is there more ammo, shotgun ammo in there that we could, we should pick up or should we move on to like the military base? Uh, the dealer. Is the dealer in the same compound? Block in front of the range. Okay. South, I assume. Uh, rage bait. Uh, if you just think about AI human symbiosis, imagine how fast we've been... We'd advance, for better or worse, it would be crazy. One giant hive mind, singularity. Uh, one block west. Like, like these houses? Or at the end of this next block? Yeah, it's crazy to think about rage. Uh, Ransom, I just had it write a program in Commodore 64 Basic to display Hello World 20 times and change the cursor color to blue on exit. It did it. It's pretty cool, right, today? It's on main chat one. All right. dealer house. I'm not sure which one it is, so let's start exploring. Uh, do you explain the poke commands you'd had to use for the color change on that system? Uh, that's, I think that's the coolest thing that I found, Rancid, is that as I'm having it do stuff, it's explaining stuff to me as well. So I'm actually learning a little bit about coding and um, different languages.
the best tool to learn program. Yeah, so what I've done is I started off with a couple PZ mods from the workshop. I just copied the um, some of the code into into chat. Oh, this is pretty full. And I was like, what does like what is this chunk of code doing? And then it it just explains it to me. It's like, oh, okay. Like, what what is this argument? It's so, sometimes um, the chat, the AI will be like, it'll tell, it'll explain something. And I'll be like, so then you just need to know how to code, blah, 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 do this, this, this. And then my response is just like, can you do that, please? <laughs> it's like, okay, here you go. <laughs> it's like, sweet. Uh, coding is not that difficult to understand, just takes patience and understanding of flow. Yeah, so I'm already, even just with playing it, playing with it for a little over, a little under a week, I guess. I've already started to pick up some things. Sounds like a friendly senior developer. It's very patient. Okay, I did this. I put this in. Now I'm getting this error. Okay, try this. Okay, I tried that. I'm still getting the same. Let's try this. <laughs> Alright, I don't think it's that is. I hope it's not this house. Oh, I went east of the range. God damn it. I am direction impaired one. Okay, it's all according to the plan. We're gonna draw the zombies there, so they're not at the dealer. It's all part of the plan. Guessing this one. I asked uh, ChatGPT, what about the neighboring city, and it gave another full description, but compared to the first, pretty dope. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff, man. You can even ask it, like, what's a... Uh, What's a good strategy when playing Project Zomboid for the first time, or how to survive like your first week? And it gives like a, a not too detailed, but a, a pretty good synopsis. shells we got left. Enough. Just 
This one asked about world, do world domination. That was the first thing I asked it. <laughs> the scary thing is it didn't deny that it's possible. I was listening to a biologist talk about how we don't fully understand how humans become conscious or self-aware. We're born into a world and just keep getting input from surroundings. Uh, parents, etc. Maybe we're doing the same thing with AI right now. Yeah, it's kind of like the same process, hey? Except the AI has, I guess, potentially all the knowledge if they let it like scour the internet freely. Would have all the input. Uh, more, don't get one AI to ask another, how do I become aware? <laughs> so, Rick, that's one question I had was, does Chappy GPT, can it, like, I understand that it goes and, like, when it gets queried, it'll go and, or I assume it goes and finds stuff on the internet. But can it, can it just, is it just constantly scouring the internet? Like just to amass knowledge? Or is it only gathering as needed? Team built the machine learning algorithm, but it was all gathered two years ago, if I remember correctly. I guess you could just ask ChatGPT. <laughs> um, yeah, my understanding is this is is this like Chat like 4.0 or 3.5. It's like the third of the fourth iteration. Yeah, Scully, I think you're right. I think it um, it knows stuff up till the end of 2021. Like I remember getting a response like that. Right rail? is just what they're letting the, the public play around with. The training data for Ch chat GPT includes a wide variety of sources, including books, articles, web pages, and other text-based content. So I wonder if that's, uh, does that mean like selective, selective web pages? Or do they just turn it loose? Uh, Rage Bay, eventually I think there will be a way to opt out of your code or whatever you have on the internet so that it's protected from being consumed by these AIs. I think there will be enough job losses for some sort of regulation like that. Yeah, like 
probably see that as well. The concern I have is that there is so much toxic human behavior on the internet. What are we teaching the AI to be? Yeah. It's so much so on the internet. That's why I think it would... I, I, I would think they would have been like selective sources that they would have fed to it. <laughs> the AI watches poor Thomas being hunted by chat. Oh, this is normal. This is normal human behavior. Yeah. Trolling is good. bars on the window. I hear a lot of activity. Can't shoot through the bars. Or can I? No. <laughs> AI shoot sandwiches for everyone. Do I still have that meat cleaver? Yes. <laughs> Trying to get the microwave out. When all else fails. Getting low. Not just any knife. That was a universal key. Hey, Night Scout, what is this Tandil map? This is Juan's creation. This is his labor of love over the past few years. A bit much space for two shelves. <laughs> Chat GPT made this map on our lunch break. Yeah, this is uh, Juan's creation. 25 cells south of Martridge. We've been testing it out the last couple streams before it gets released to the wild. How big is a cell? As big as your imagination. Uh, how many tiles does it sell? Alright, we need to find the ammo. I think we may have found the ammo. We did indeed find the ammo. All the shells. Beautiful. Those jugs of ammo. So many. <laughs> I 
<laughs> There's a lack of American flags. Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, bah. This is the most patriotic store I've ever seen. Make a man cry. Sorry, aiming at? Five. As uh, Jim Morrison once said, plan or murder or start a religion. I don't think he was talking about ammunition, but it seems fitting. Jesus, look at all these shotgun shells. And a frozen, appreciate the follow. Welcome on in. Jesus, there's more up here. Where these guys come from? Appreciate the hydrate. We didn't see the actual storage yet. Oh my god. Scary Nico. Required. Dog tags acquired. Uh, that's actually Panda Frozen. I saw the fix that. Those are your zombies, Panda. Hey, Panda. Oh my god, there's more! <laughs> there we go. Asking the real questions, Night Scale. Let's get some uniforms in this map set up. Oh, this may be the, uh... The main storage back here? We gotta jettison some stuff. How the schools here are good? <laughs> a good place to raise a family. Uh, Panda, I am bored of, uh, of getting bit, so decided to watch someone who can play this game. Well, good thing you came in now because uh, we definitely did not get bit today. <laughs> 348. There's not much else I can drop. And by that I mean we definitely got bit today. But never again. Praise be to Corbin. <laughs> Praise be. Oh, this is a city. This is a city night scale. Oh, hi, Mark. This doesn't look like the uh, the main room. This looks like an office. That's just paper storage. Ah, Jesus. Hold on, where's the main storage? Over there, maybe? Someone get me out of here! <laughs> Hang tight, radio. You're coming with us. Alright, 
let's check over here. Oh my god. I think we found it. Can I shoot these doors off? Tries again. Get the old skeleton key out. Just keep this on our belt. Oh, these Zeds probably do have a key. <laughs> well, fair point, Rick. I believe I uh, suffer from what you might call tunnel vision. There we go. <laughs> There's the fun in that. <laughs> Here, let's pull the car up. We gotta load this thing up. <laughs> I saw with a microwave before. Ah, oh, here's the key. Perfect. Alright, which one was our car? You guys remember where I parked my car? Is this it? This is it. Yep. Perfect. That's how we add more storage to our trunk. Alright, so I'm not very good driving backwards. We may have to go to the driving school and touch up on that skill set. Now this is pod <laughs> Let's get a gas the car covered in blood. It's a giveaway, hey? <laughs> yeah, the driving school. <laughs> Uh, we gotta go. Alright, I'm just taking the shells for now. We'll come back for other stuff later. Once we got a few more levels. No way. No way. What is this garbage? My goodness. This is a lot of ammo. Hey, I have my moments trail. Sometimes I pull off a cool move. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. A burger for our troubles. Oh, hey there. Oh, hey there, Fable. How's it going? Appreciate the cheer. So many shells. I feel like the city has it all. You want to come here to level up metalworking and electrical? It's the place to be. You want to come here to get all your ammo? It's the place to be. What more could you ask for? Uh, I did not grab a holster and pistols. I think we're gonna stick with a shotgun for now. <laughs> Your endorsement sounds like Corbin. <laughs> Handle, we provide. A subsidiary of Corbin's. Ah, playing some Red Dead. Nice. Okay, um, what do you guys want to see? 
Uh, no Misplay is Driving School. Uh, Lily's Church of Chaos. Uh, the Big Church Downtown. Um, what else? Fire Station PD. Driving School. Hey, totes. Ain't gonna live forever. I just wanna live while I'm alive. Classic. Driving School. Maybe you'll learn. All right, well, let's go to driving school. And we'll head up the, uh, where's the, we need directions to the fire station and the police department after one, if you could be so kind. Oh, shit. Careful. Careful. Oof. I think I went right through that bike pole. Don't let my fucking king of the zombies. Lime God, <laughs> appreciate the fall. <laughs> oh, sorry, Lime. I just uh, smashed into your zombies there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> let me just grab those uh, dog tags. It's their fault for dropping out of the sky in front of my car. <laughs> totally on purpose. I feel like our car is probably almost shot after that light pull and that group of zombies. Cheer. Don't mind if I do smile. <laughs> I see. Oh, we're going to have some more vitamins soon. Uh, High-rise apartments near the main church. Have we seen them yet? I don't think we did, no. When we went to the church, we uh, specifically just went to the church. We were teleporting around, so... Or, well, fast-walking around. But yeah, we can check that out. My gun just broke. <laughs> well, I guess we're going back to the uh, dealer. No way. No way. What is this garbage? <laughs> <laughs> that's terrific. That's terrific. Uh, that's not good. I'm worried that this isn't going to start. If I get in there. I don't think I've ever had a shotgun just fall apart in my hands. Not even supposed to be here today. Alright. I think I have more vitamins. No, I don't. 
Nope, we're out of vitamins. Try quickly. Oh, it's still Time running. To do okay. some sketchy shit. Do da, do da. Hope I get away with it. Oh, da, do da, day. Back we go. Oh wait, this is the uh, gun range. <laughs> so, hold on guys, I got this. It's a Buick. It can take the punishment. <laughs> kind of a talent, isn't it, Scully? They said it couldn't be done. We saw a shotgun in here somewhere, maybe at the front. You saw him, you jumped in front of the car. My insurance isn't going to pay for this. Property sign. Hey, Slackery. Um, I have no base. I'm a wandering madman who used to have a shotgun until the shotgun broke in my hands. Now all I have left is a couple thousand rounds or shotgun shells. I swear there was a shotgun here. Maybe it was in the uh, shooting range. Rifle. Ah, shotgun. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Oh, look, I think it's kitchen knife the whole time. Manifesting a shotgun. It works. <laughs> we have a shotgun. Uh, you know, I prefer the two-hour days. Game feels less rushy that way. Yeah, I like it for um uh, for the stream. I still do the one hour days for the YouTube series. But I've grown to enjoy it on stream. Grab an extra shoddy. Uh, was there more than one here? I remember seeing the one. Double barrel shotgun, all right. There's our backup. I'd like an hour and a half day, but we just don't have that option. Nailed it. Yeah, Fable, it works every time. You got the magic touch. What did you get us the other day? Or was it earlier today that we really needed? Wasn't there something that we really needed? Uh, we do need to sleep. Let's just grab one of these houses. Ah, oh, yes, the wine. That's right. We need a mod that shows the weight in pounds. Ha! 
you missed. So I think the uh, the reason why it doesn't always make sense what the the numbers are, the weights, is because they're not actually weights; they're encumbrances. So it's like a combination of how heavy something is and how like awkward it is or easy it would be to to pick up and store. At least that's what my understanding has been. Oh shit. Yeah, I think I got rid of all my screwdrivers. Um, yeah, I did have screwdrivers and I got rid of them. Next one we see will uh, take off the choke. Uh, sprint command gone. Yes, we are on our our light integration today. So we just have the random zombie spawn, uh, the supply weapon sends. <laughs> The uh, random helicopter, then the dog tags and vending machine stuff, and the radio, of course. You can act like a man! What's the matter with you? Boo. Boo these decisions. Oh yeah, we will have the full Thank set. You full set of chat integration back on Friday. Okay, what else we have here? Let's put that on the seat. What was your favorite playthrough? I think the uh, Gerald Richardson character. That was my favorite one. My favorite base, I think was the one we did out in the woods. Um, prior to build 41. I don't remember what the character's name was, but... That was the season we... Retired at 100 episodes. It was like the five-story base out in the woods. Oh, this looks like uh, it could be a fire station or a police station. We got a dog kennel. Is it just a dog kennel? Maybe it's just a dog kennel. Um, is this the spot? No. The school's down here somewhere, isn't it? Cryo might make it that far too. Uh, oh no, it's further out. Possibly. Oh no, it's right here. Is this it? This is it, isn't it?
Oh yeah, this is it. Uh, you're enjoying the, uh, oh no, uh, yeah, just Google your Gerald playthrough, 41 integrations, uh, that the character looks so pixelated. Yeah, that was before they did the, um, oh yeah, so there's the, uh, no one's plays driving school sign. That's before they did the, uh, graphic update. No! We just got here! No! Oh no! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> okay, here we go. We're on the course. Hang on. <laughs> I can do it. Yeah, two out of all those, that's pretty good. Yeah, we need to find out the sports car. It needs more trees. <laughs> More trees on the sidelines, huh? I think there were a few more trees last time we were here because we were on 12 months later. See, I can be a pro if I want to. Look at all these. Minor deductions there for the... Never mind. <laughs> for the goats. <laughs> You're out of your element. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. That's terrific. Okay, let's go inside. Now this is pod or let's kill all these out here first. Yeah, it's time for a new car. <laughs> Defend the driving school. Donnie, you out of your element. If I don't pass the exam, no one passes the exam. It's a little dark. I find your faith disturbed. Like the sound effects for, uh, like, like honker driving would be hilarious for when he crashes. Hey, darling. Okay, you ready to take the puppers out? We're gonna take puppers out, yeah. We're defending the driving course. The driving school. It was such a it, it was such a beautiful day outside. I really wanted to be out. And I'm back with it. No. <laughs> and I have to work. So I think it's still I mean it's dark out now, but it's still nice out of <laughs> This is what happens, Larry. This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the air. <laughs> Do you see what happens, Larry? What happened? Did it's Larry a, do that? It's a quote from uh, Big Lebowski. You're killing your father, Larry. <laughs> is this is your homework, Larry. I mean, no, this is your homework. I think you need. Um, I think you need to go to the door. Where did they all. I got a door right here for them. <laughs> what are your favorite scenes for HVH? 
Hi. My car! What are you doing? <laughs> hey, Fable. <laughs> Hi, Rage. Hi, Scully. Hi, Rail. This is <laughs> Rage. This is his dad in the background in the iron lung. Hello there. Hi, Rex. You're killing your father, Larry. Uh, actress, stop headbutting me. Oh my god. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Larry was about to crack Walter. Oh my god, so many mistakes from that Who's Larry? It's from the big one I don't remember watching that movie. Did we watch the movie? No, it's probably a while ago. Um, I don't think you and I have watched it together now. No. It's a very... <laughs> went down to tie her shoelaces. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Blam. No, seriously, she did. Oh, I know what we got. We got we to gotta put these corpses on the corner. <laughs> Hi, Fire. Fire Magic. <laughs> Hi, Juan. Um, yeah, my, my back was really sore, like, when I had a break. But then I rubbed... Oh, no one's just trying to give me a back rub. And then I rub the, um... I have, like, some beads for, um, a bracelet. So, like, a beaded bracelet. And I rub that on my back and it feels better. <laughs> yeah, the, r the round marbles. Yeah, the, the round, round marbles actually helped. It was more effective than my... Massage. Your knuckles. <laughs> you have no doors. Your... <laughs> Magic. I have a feeling you can be good friends with Sage too. All right, before things get too much crazier, um, let's go take a quick look at the lessons. You guys can let us know if you agree. Trees equal magnet. Do you see? Cones have, equal target. You've shown Do me, you see? You showed me these. You've shown me these already. Um Whenever I can, I should go to a doctor and check my back. Yeah. For sure. Whenever I can. I just you know my past experience with, from like choking on the food and thought I was having a heart attack because <laughs> of the chest pain. And I was in the ER for like over five hours and it just didn't feel very eventful. Or what happened in the end? <laughs> well, yeah, because I mean, they just give me some meds for um, reducing acid from burning in that. Way. It just, I don't know, it just didn't feel like yeah, it. It did work. It did help. It did help. Yeah. But was it worse? Five hours of my day. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Rance. Uh, we've always been in Canada. Yeah, we we moved cross country though this um, summer. So we're out on the coast now. Yeah, my, my week is alright. You had an asshole customer today, though. I did. <laughs> she was screaming and yelling. Is Canada just normal during the zombie event? <laughs> it didn't reach up here, I guess. It's 
So a fun thing that Thunder and I like to do when we're out and about is we keep our eye out for any zombie-proof buildings, just in case. Yeah, I think it's a good practice in general to know which building is secure that's nearby that you can do like a rendezvous rally point if there's anything that goes down. <laughs> 76 people in the whole city, yeah, it would be sick. No, no, 76 people per square kilometer. <laughs> that was the... That was one of the funnier moments on the stream one. 76,000? No, 76. Yeah, well, but like our island is kind of populated, I would say, because it's nice weather, so... Most populated island. Yeah, Canada. right, so it's not like they're doing average. So I'm sure on average, um, on the island, there's more people living here. But in the complete wilderness of Canada, I don't think that many people lives on the ice sheet part. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> there are multiple ferries to the mainland. How long do they take? Uh, yeah, so there's ferries going... Oh. There's ferries a number going... Of time. Constantly right. throughout the day. Yeah, so I think every two hours or an hour and a half, there's yeah. a ferry. And it takes about an hour and a half or two hours to get to the mainland, right? Yep. Yep. So, um... I think they are... I think they're talking about adding a... A high-speed one? Another one, yeah. But, I mean, it's not... So I don't think it's that much different. It's it probably just an hour or something, but... I mean, it's not that far, to be honest. Alright, guys. Those will be walking around the study leg. Bet that house has a wood axe. <laughs> Oh, look, a grant. That's going to have some good stuff. All right, guys. We're going to... I got to take uh, the boy out for his uh, W-A-L-K. Oh. He's right beside us, so I can't. But um, we're going to have to wrap things up here. We're going to continue our exploration on Thursday. So we didn't get to go see all the sites again today. We did see some new stuff, though, which was pretty cool. We saw the uh, art gallery. Which had like the streamer's corner, which was pretty cool. We got to see our, our face up on the on the wall, along with um, other folks like Private Lime and Drunk on Life and Ambiguous Amphibian and Ghoul King. Very cool stuff. A successful defense of the driving course, yes. Uh, Ran says login, have to go. What's up this week? So tomorrow we're. I'm not sure what we're going to be playing tomorrow. We might play a new game. Uh, I'm going to try and put the poll up, uh, or the final choices up for the poll for the game, um, the next game, uh, on the Discord. So you can check out the poll channel later in, in a couple hours. And you guys can vote on what game. Uh, you guys have provided a lot of suggestions. So that's cool. And, uh, we'll probably be playing something new tomorrow and then back to this on thursday and then the whole chat integration on friday someone the rail says mine sweeper <laughs> well, mine sweeper's got two reactions so it's up there in the top ones <laughs> rail <laughs> all right rage bait one i appreciate uh getting the updated version of the maps to take a look at um everything looks great uh scully uh thanks for hanging out with us uh core d80 appreciate uh, you Hanging out as well, Fable. Yes, we will have a good W A L K. Uh, Rail Rage One, Rancid, Wells Brotano. Uh, those others scrolling up through the comments. Fire Medic, Rick, of course. Appreciate you, man. Um, yeah, let's go take a look at. Who we can send you guys over to who are still want to hang around um also a quick shout out to fable for all the cheers altar for the cheers today as well uh bez uh getting there um at the beginning of the stream as well appreciate you guys and your support uh Brexus, appreciate the the 20 dollar tip uh we'll be getting something special uh for slender as per their request also 
uh followers uh the lime god panda frozen appreciate the follows hope to see you around in some future streams and make sure i'm not missing anyone here i think we got everyone all right let's take a look and see who we can find to raid and then uh yes new cryo episode will be out tomorrow i didn't get around to doing one today but there will be one out tomorrow so keep an eye out for that um if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel there's the link for that um, and there's the link for our discord check those out and let's see who is on Try and go someone new. There we go. Reckless eating. I don't think we've ever been there before. Let's check this out. Product Zomboid Fresh Start with Mods. All right, guys. Have a good night, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is you're part of the world. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for making it a fun stream. Thanks for being a great community. And until next time, I will talk to you all later. See ya.